That's why I'm glad where I'm at. I'm with a GM, an owner, people who you can talk to, people who aren't just going to read an article and think that's what it is. Like, yeah. that's, but not every place is like that. I can see how a lot of places where the GM and the head coach are, might not be on the same page. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. That's why I mean, John and I came in together. We did this together. That's you know, cool. and it's, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's when it's just tough. You got to, people need one, you hope everyone's agenda is the same, you have the same intentions. But when it goes bad, People are also trying to survive and not have to move their families and get fired. Yeah. And when the owner wants to know which one of yours fault is it, yeah. sometimes people start to have different opinions. Yeah. You know, but when you know, hey, we're either gonna win together, or go down together, it makes it much smoother. Yeah. You know. So but you gotta have the right people to do that. You can't just say we're gonna do that. Yeah. So it takes certain type of people. Lynch is that type of guy. Nine outgoing Baylor Bears are aiming to make the NFL hear their name when Roger Goodell takes the stage later this month. Some of the results running back Jalen Hurd at Pro Day today ran a 466 40 and a 10 foot 4 inch broad jump. It's impressive, but he was still down on his 40 time. Worked hard to have a chance to be here. They deserve to be here, and so it was, uh, it was uh, fun to see them go out there and chase their dreams. But he did throw today. Jalen Hurd, still recovering from a knee injury that kept him out of the Texas Bowl in December, caught a few balls and participated in the running tests, posting an unofficial 466 for his 40. Hurd and Derek Thomas also participated in the NFL Combine back in March. It's been great, honestly. I've been waiting for it for my entire life, so it's been amazing to come out here and do this and just be a part of it and um, show everything I've got. Jalen. Yes, sir. It's John Lynch, buddy. We're going to make you a Niner right now, okay? Let's do it. All right. We've got a great vision, and uh, this is going to be awesome, man. We're excited, okay? I've been waiting for the call. I appreciate it. Let's do it. All right. We've got a great vision. Man, well, congratulations. All right, man. Take care. With the 67th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers select Jalen Hurd, wide receiver, Baylor. All right, well, you need a creative, creative offensive coordinator for Jalen Hurd because he can do a little bit of everything, a running back and a slot receiver. I think, I think a common theme in this draft for us is, is, is guys that combine speed and power and, and versatility. You know, today he got drafted as an NFL receiver, kind of. Um, I believe if he tried to play tight end, I think he could have gotten drafted as an NFL tight end. So um, that's a pretty neat thing to have, um, something that you I don't remember being able to say that about any player I've studied before. Yeah, well, I put on tape, I can... I've been a slot. I've uh, complained outside. Obviously, I have a running back background, so I don't really. There's not really any limit to me on the offensive side. I would say. Is, is there anything you like the most out of those? Yeah, no, I want to play receiver. So yeah. yeah, but I can do anything, and I and I'm open to play about it, about anything. So we'll see where they put me. You didn't get to... Absolutely. I mean, he's got a great offensive mind, and I've I just cannot be more happy to be drafted by here and to get a chance to play, and I'm um, just experience it. So I'm looking forward to it. Roll by Mullins, throwing wide open. It is caught. Jalen Hurd with the touchdown. Touchdown 49ers. Well, there's the mentality of Jalen Hurd, the third round pick, former running back. Yeah, that boy got the score. Oh, 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 I mean, That's one great. Don't get to another. Hurd and goal, four yard line lob for the end zone. Jalen Hurd, second touchdown of the night. Touchdown 49ers, they take the lead back. Well, I told you what the future is in terms of the wide receivers and these two young guns. I'm going to start off with two rookie wide receivers from the San Francisco 49ers, both with interesting stories and both who might be relied upon this year. The 49ers have had issues with wideouts all, all the last decade, I would say. And really interestingly, they were not in on Antonio Brown at all. And as the symmetry goes, while the Raiders across the Bay are dealing with this Antonio Brown thing, the 49ers might have found two studs in their building as rookies. Jalen Hurd is a six foot four receiver, and that is right there Debo Samuel, who is the South Carolina star who sure. made a big play in this one as well. Jalen Hurd here is the one you're gonna watch. And this mm. is one of the toughest guys you will meet. He was a running back at Tennessee and then moved to wide receiver when he went to Baylor because he thought he could get an NFL future at wide receiver. He is a six foot four beast, and they are excited about him in San Fran. Ed, they put all their eggs into the basket of rookies. Yeah. Debo Samuel, South Carolina, great catch.
He was a late addition because he held out for most of training camp, and then finally joined the team. But Jalen Hurd, six foot four, the 49ers have had not one of these guys, maybe since Michael Crabtree, like a big body who can catch the ball. They are super excited about him. A lot of 49ers fans were upset this offseason. They didn't go for Antonio Brown yeah. or Odell Beckham. Mm-hmm. It might work out in the end. Those are my two winners, two rookies, Debo Samuel, Jalen Hurd, and 49ers fans might have themselves two rookie wideouts who can make an impact in your world. Jalen Hurd, outside of George Kittle, could be the number one target in the office. Trent Taylor went down. Trent Taylor went yeah. down. Dante Pettis is there. How does There's Jalen Hurd feel guys. about his helmet? Is he cool with his helmet? <laughs> Jalen Hurd had no issues with his helmet. It's great. Fact, used it as it's he great. was. great. There. there you go. Safety. Off and running. Jalen Hurd, the former Tennessee ball. Runner. 